Spark actions. So unlike transformations which produce RDDs, what transformation does? It produces the RDDs, you know, as a result. Action functions produce a value back to the Spark driver program. Rotash is saying in order to process the joins, we will have to move data from one node to another node so that both rows to be joined are calculated, collated, are on the same node. In order to process the joins, we will have to move the data from one node to another node so that both rows to be joined are co-located are on the same node. See, if you are talking about the reshuffling of data, then that will definitely take place, right? I mean, in, in the context of joins, the reshuffling you can, you know, uh, not stop. Reshuffling will definitely happen, but all you can control is the amount of, you know, reshuffling that takes place. So there are different, different concepts. If I talk about the, you know, uh, hive and all also, there also there are different concepts of, you know, optimized jo joins are there, like map side join and all. So you can distribute, you can put some data in the distributed cache. I don't want to go, you know, off the route, but just to give you an information, there also we have different, different concepts for, you know, optimization so that we can, we can have the minimal, you know, shuffles. Actions may trigger, no. What action does? Action actually reduces the value back to the driver program. If we have a multi-node cluster, this is your driver program which has been executed or initiated from node 1 and your workers, other workers are run on are running on node 2, node 3 and node 4. Once you apply some transformation on data which is transformed here, once you apply an action that data is actually produced back to the driver code. It is sent back to the driver code as a resultant data. Yeah when you apply actions on this, right? So when I say action, when you execute action, then only the actual, you know, evaluation happens. That's called the lazy evaluation. So commonly used actions that we have are reduce, we will see one by one each and, uh, each and every action first, take order, take count, collect, collect text map, save as text file for each partition, for each max, min, sum, mean variance and standard depth, right? Let's look at the first action which is reduce, what it says, aggregates the elements of data set through the function. So in the reduce function, inside the function body, whatever logic that you provide, based on the logic, it actually aggregates the data and gives it back to you, right? So let me open the spark shell first. Spark shell. So reduce is like, you know, the reducer of map reduce. What reducer does, it aggregates the data, right? So similarly, the reduce action aggregates the data basis the function that you provide and gives the, you know, result back to the driver. So let me create uh, an RDD, well, A equals to SC dot parallelize. Let me start from 10 to 50, a sequence, and suppose partition by 3. Now, on this, I can apply a reduce action. Now, what I want to do, I want to count all the numbers starting from 10 to 50, whatever numbers or elements that are there in the RDD, which is A. So what I'll say, take the first element which is underscore plus take the second element and give me the sum. So this function will, you know, 
run recursively. This is my function. Will run recursively for the RDD elements that are available in A. Right? Let's see what is the result that we get out of this. One, two, three, zero. Right? Now let me look at the. So reduce three partitions. That is why three tasks. Yeah. So when I ran this partition, then only I was able to see the completed job here. Had it been a simple transformation, I would not have seen anything here, right? Let me take one more example. Well, B equals to SC dot paradise. And let me take some names, maybe in a list. Yeah. Now let's let's run some other you know operation along with the transformation here. Let me first of all say b dot reduce take the first element. Let's say a one from a uh, a two and say a one plus. A two, yeah. What it has done? Done. It has joined the strings. Yeah. So I've got three strings in the list. We just simply joined them according to the function which I have specified here. That is another form of the same which we have done earlier. Yeah. Let me do some other transformation and action on this. Let me say b dot. Let's run some flat map on this. Flat map. I don't know why I'm not able to use this L key. Flat map. And then let's say a one. Assign the. Even assign the size of the list. List. Even dot size. Yeah. So flat map means they would be flat and not an array of array or not a list of list. So even just a variable list even dot size means the size of every string. And then let's run reduce on this. Reduce. Same. Uh, let's take v b one as a first element, comma b two as a second element, and sum them up. B one plus b two. This has been closed. Okay. Twenty. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So what we did initially, we ran a transformation on this flat map. This. So what it has given to us, it has given us the size of every element of RDD. Yeah, it has just given us the size of every element of RDD. And then what we have done, we have 
summed up those you know some the length or the size of every element so that's what we can that's also we can do using uh what we say uh the reduce method right so that's about uh the reduce method right first so when you say first it gives you the very first element of your rdd right the first element of your rdd so let's again take that would be same rdd which is this and on that b dot first i get the first element yeah let us try with different partitions suppose if i create three partitions of this in that case also we get the first element of the first partition only right so that's about first action now the another action is take ordered which takes the parameter which is a number what it says it will return an array with given number of ordered values in the rdd given number of ordered values means suppose if you have some elements in an rdd and if you say take ordered 4 or take order 3 it will give you three elements that to in orders yeah that to in order it will maintain the order of this so let me create another rdd okay so let me take uh, an rdd of numbers sc dot parallelize so that we can you know track the order also and then let me create a list of different numbers like 20 uh, 2 comma 5 4 comma 5 comma 19 if i say numbers dot c Order. Shall give you a. Uh, shall return you the elements of RDD that will order array of your elements from the RDDs. Right. The another action that we have is take take num. what it says it returns an array with the first given number of values does not you know man maintains the order so if i use the take on the numbers here if i say 4 so give me the the way that in the order which we in which we have you know created the rdd another action that we have is count so as the name suggests it will return a long value that indicates how many elements presented in the rdd the number of elements in your rdd whether they are string the string array or whatever always is saying can you please explain again take order action yeah so if we just look at the rdd here which is numbers it has got a list of numbers integer numbers here Right, twenty to four, which are not in order. Now, if I say numbers dot take so three, I get the numbers in the same order in which I have created the RDD. So twenty to four. But if I want in a, in a, you know, if I want to maintain the order, I mean, if I want to get them in, you know, order here.
से एक ऑर्डर हम गेटिंग इन शॉर्टिंग ऑर्डर ये दैट इज द डिफरेंस टेक एंड टेक ऑर्डर मेक सेंस so another action is count which will you know count the number of elements that you have in your rdd so i can run the counts there were seven elements in my numbers rdd similarly you can run the count on string 2 Where is the problem? I can say names dot count number of elements what? these actions will be for all the collections let us try this also for ways let us create a list of maps key value pairs Or number keys. Well, now let's run this. Names dot. So we have two key value pairs here. It will work for the all sort of you know elements, whatever collection types they are. so uh, we have seen count let us see what is the next action collect we have seen yeah while we were running the transformation so what it does it actually collects the entire result whatever that is available in your rdd so if i say names dot collect it will give back the rdd's content to me yeah Collect as map. Now, before that, let me talk about count only. So, I have other uh, actions, you know, which are similar to count. So, I created an RDD like this. Yeah. Now, I, if I just want to count by the keys only. No. So the one is key for me. Two is the key for me. So I can say names dot count by key. Count by key is not a member of OAG. I just spark already in teacher and string. Okay, let me create this again. Okay, now. count by key yeah so key number 1 single element key number 2 single element let me change it a bit so that it makes more sense let me add one more key value pair of 1 comma suppose uh hadoop similarly let me create one more pair of 
2, comma, Cassandra, and another pair of 3, comma, Python. Right? Oops, unclosed. Yeah, was not closed properly here. Yeah. Now let me run names dot count by key. So for key one, I've got two occurrences. For key two, I've got two occurrences, and for key three, there is a single occurrence. Right. So you can use the count by key also if you have an RDD in the form of map. Right. Similarly. You have the count by value too. So you can say count by value mm, okay. So all the values are actually different. That's why it is giving one to me, right? So let's try with another single I mean same value again. Three comma Python, let's see. I'm a bit skeptic about this right now. Count by so what I've done, I've added one more. I mean, I repeated the same key value pair here so that I get same values. Now, let me say count by value. Yeah. So three comma Python is coming twice. Python is coming twice here. It is counted by the values here, right? So we have count, we have count by key and count by value. Let me use this count by key with some non-key value pair. I would have created some. Let's take this. This is also parallel collection, but a single, you know, single integer with this attached to it. Let me now use count by key. Let's see how it works. Count by value works for, for this. I'm sure about that, but not very sure about count by key, whether it will work on this or not. Count by key is not a member of RDD int. So only count by value is available. You can use count by value on this, not the count by key. Yeah, so for every value it is giving the occurrences. Because if I use this count by value on simple string, we got my my word my my text file would be read as a string here, right? If I say spark comma hi comma hello. And let me remove the numbers, integers from here. Now let me check numbers dot count by value. Yeah, it's working fine. It's working fine. But this particular part, you'll have to convert your text file once you load it into the words. So it has to be split. This is the word. Yeah. So that split you will have to do before running count by value. Got it? Yeah, good point. Okay, so let us see what is the next action. Collect we have seen. Now next is collect as map. Yeah, collect as map. So what it say? It will return a map object containing all key value pairs converted as map. Yeah, so if you see, here is an RDD which has a you know list of key value pairs here. Yeah, this is just a you know declaration. Actually, this is not a key value pair, this is not a map, actually, right? 
if you want to get a map out of it this is right now our list if you look at the you know the definition of this particular rdd this rdd is type int comma string yeah not a not a perfect map right now so, so we will see the difference let me come back to this take the same rdd this one when we see we have got an rdd which is parallel collection rdd int comma string yeah and we see a you know additional brackets here now let me say uh, names dot collect as map this gives me the perfect map collection yeah so if you want to collect your rdd in in the form of map map collection you can use collect as map right what it does it actually returns the map object which contains all the key value pairs you know converted as map yeah save as text file so whatever action we have done so far we we are getting the you know result back to our driver now if that particular result if you want to store somewhere you know at some location that you can do with the help of save as text file action yeah can we save the result of action into rdd let us do it and use collect as map on names i store that into a what it says missing argument list for method collect and create traversable like converted to functions when i okay collect i've got an rdd here but this is actually not an rdd yeah this is just a collection let me do something else yeah i was getting a collection out of this what an rdd let me say collect only this is also an, not an rdd right now a dot collect no so we are not able to store because what it it is doing it is giving you the data back to this particular a so a is not an rdd anymore now this is a resultant object you know understand it uh, like this names was your rdd when you applied collect on this it gave you the data back to the driver program from from the workers this is the data and this is the resultant object which is a now a is not an rdd anymore a is just a result yeah a is just a result of this let me try to parallelize this particular uh, result which is a let's see if it is possible yeah so now that a result i have stored converted into rdd again which has been stored in b so that way we can do it we can you know get the result back to some other object and convert that particular object again into an rdd yeah that is possible but directly because the action does not return you an rdd actually it returns you the data back from the worker nodes to driver this is my driver program once you get the data in your resultant object that object you can you know possibly convert into a fresh rdd right okay now let me look at the next section what is the next section here 
सी वर्स टेक्स्ट फाइल सो वेल ए इक्वल टू सी डॉट पैरलाइज लेट्स से वन टू हंड्रेड पार्टीशन बाय थ्री नो दैट ए आई वांट टू सेव एस टेक्स्ट फाइल Suppose at this particular location, C scala props. My result let us see what do we get at this particular location. My result. This was the directory that I specified when I was running CSS text file. Let us see what is there in my result. We have got the part files here: part zero, part one, part two. Because we had three partitions of this RDD. Yeah. Now let us look at these partitions here. So partition zero has got has got the data starting from one to thirty three, then partition one, and partition two. Yeah. So save as text file you can use to store the you know result of your transformation into a text file. Let me delete this particular location. Sorry. Now, this is my local. This is my local, right? If I want to, you know, suppose store this in my SDFS location, what would I do? I have to provide my SDFS location here, either like this, like. Uh, user cloud era my directory. Yeah. So what I'll do it will at the, this particular SDFS location will store your text file. If this doesn't work, if it is not you know configured properly, then you have to provide the entire path of this, and that path is you know uh, like SDFS colon. And suppose if it's running on some IP like this, port may be different. This is your configuration, and then same suppose user cloud era, and then my directory. Yeah, that's how you can store the uh, result on SDFS. I'm sure you enjoyed learning from this video. Please like the video, and if you have any doubts regarding this video, please comment us in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Do look out for other related videos in our playlist. For more information, visit our website now. Keep learning with IntelliPad.